Hi, my name is Brian Haley with Applied Software, formerly with CAD1. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of the new collaboration tools between Civil 3D and Revit that are available in the 2019.1 update. So here I am in Civil 3D, and the new tool that we have in Civil 3D is going to be found on the Collaborate tab. So on the Collaborate tab up there on the ribbon, you'll have a new button called Publish Surfaces. Now, before this can work, whether you're using Civil 3D or Revit, you must have the Autodesk desktop connector installed. All right, so this is going to show up in your system tray. If you don't have this installed, you'll have to install it. You'll also need to be have a BIM 360 account because this is going to work through BIM 360. So I've got all that set up. I've got the account set up in BIM 360, and now I want to publish this surface so that Revit can use it. So on the Collaborate tab, under the Share panel, I will Publish Surfaces. It's going to ask, which surfaces do you want to share? This drawing only has the one, that's why it's the only option, but you could pick and choose which surfaces you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose a location to save this. And again, this is going to save it up to BIM 360. All right. Uh, this is going to go through the BIM 360 collaboration, um, the Autodesk Desktop collaboration. So I have get this BIM 360 folder. So I'll double click on that. I'm going to go into my ASTI folder here. And I've got this one called Haley Test. So this is where I want to save it. I'm going to save it underneath my project files. So I'll go ahead and save that. I'll choose OK. Now, I'm not exactly sure why, but this process wants the surface to be displaying using a specific style. Again, I'm not sure why, but it does. Right now, it's not displayed using that style, so we've got the option here to publish the surface with the updated style. Um, it seems to be that it wants triangles being displayed. So if you've got a style that's displaying triangles, then it works without bringing this up. If you don't have one, if it's not displayed using triangles, then this will take the up update the style so it is displaying triangles in the BIM 360 version of the drawing. And that's all I have to do here in Civil 3D. So now I'm going to switch over to Revit. And in Revit, I'm just going to create a brand new project here. I'm going to use the architectural template. Now, in full disclaimer, I am not a Revit expert. I wouldn't even consider myself to be a Revit beginner. I know very little about Revit. So just keep that in mind as I'm showing you things in here. So what I want to do is I want to be able to link that topography into Revit now. So on the Insert tab up there on the ribbon, I'm going to use the command Link Topography. It's going to ask, OK, well, which one do you want to bring in? So let me go ahead and switch over here to my project. Daily test, project files, and there is the surface. All right, so I'll go ahead and choose that, and I will link it in. Now, my drawing and the Revit model might be in drastically different coordinate systems, and so what it's going to do is it's going to change things here in Revit so that they link up correctly. So I'll go ahead and close that, and in order to view it, let me switch over here to my 3D view. And there is my surface in Revit. Now my understanding is is this Revit this Revit topo is exactly the same as the Civil 3D surface, which has been an issue in the past. You bring a Civil 3D surface into a Revit topo and they don't match exactly. This process, according to what I've read, should match them exactly. Now, what happens if I change the surface in Civil 3D? So let me go ahead and switch back over to Civil 3D here, and I'm going to make a slight change. And I've got this little tiny piling line here. Um, this is drawn down at elevation 0, so this is going to be an extremely extreme, extremely extreme. That's a great way of putting it, Brian. This is going to be an extreme change. Uh, I've got my surface now drive, dropping down to elevation 0. So within Civil 3D, all I have to do now is publish the surface again. I've made a change in the drawing. I simply publish the surface again. I'm going to go to the exact same location. All right, still asking me the same thing about the styles. And now I'm good to go. So if I switch back over to Revit now, all I have to do to get this to update was, well, I could close the model and then open up the model again, and I'll see the changes here. But if I'm working in the model, I can go onto my Insert tab, Manage Links, and you'll see we have a new tab over here called Topography. So this is that linked topography. So I'll go ahead and choose the one that I have, and I will reload the link. Once I've reloaded the link, I press OK, and I can see the changes there in my model. 
Once again, my name is Brian Haley with Applied Software, and this has been collaborating between Revit and Civil 3D using the 2019.1 updates. Thank you for watching.